The best selling graphing calculator of all time is the TI-84 Plus. From having decent enough hardware to run Game Boy games to having the ability to share notes with classmates, the TI-84 didn't just appeal to teachers, but when I was in school it had a community of AP Calculus students who supported it. Because of the TI-84's cult-like following, some users of the product have retrofitted the I.O. port into an audio jack to play music, and one user even created a clunky web browser that pulls info right from the internet. Stream. Sniping. In other countries such as India, graphing calculators are not allowed in most classrooms, and in some European countries such as Germany, they are just not as popular. But in the US, Texas Instruments has an estimated 90% market share on graphing calculators. The TI-84 and TI-84CE together have around 55,000 Amazon reviews at a 4.75 star rating, whereas the competing Casio Prism only has around 2,000 reviews, which shows the TI-84's dominance in the market. Since the TI-84 was invented in 2004, the sticker price has been steady at $150, with the only major upgrade being the CE model in 2015, which included color enhancement to the screen and a rechargeable battery, also coming in at $150. Texas Instruments does not publicly share calculator sales, but if we use our TI-84 to multiply the number of customers who reviewed the product by the sticker price, that alone is $8.25 million in revenue over the lifetime of these products. Hello, I like money. And if we use our calculator to multiply the number of engineering graduates per year, which was 136,000 in 2018, by the average price of a TI-84, which is $100, that comes out to be $13.6 million in annual revenue on just this one product. But these figures are nothing in comparison to Texas Instruments' annual income or profit, where in 2022, the company brought in $8.7 billion. What's real funny is I never realized just how massive Texas Instruments as a company is. The total value of the company or market cap is over $150 billion, which towers over Casio at $2.3 billion and even HP at $28.9 billion. Even used on eBay, these things sell for 40 or 50 bucks. Even though Texas Instruments invented the first handheld calculators on the planet back in the 1960s, I've always wondered, why is the TI-84 the most popular graphing calculator? It was invented in 2004, the same year as the second presidential election win of George W. Bush, the first time the Red Sox won a World Series since 1918, the year Numa Numa was filmed, and also the year of the Dean screen. See you to take back the White House! Ah! But still, the question remained, how did Texas Instruments become the most successful player in the calculator market? Even I owned a handful of the calculators over the years. Let us start this story from the very beginning. The year was 1917, when John Karcher used physics to create a formula that could calculate the depth of formations under the Earth's surface. You simply change the literal term to a coefficient and the minuend will achieve the desired quotient. It wasn't long before Karcher invented the reflection seismograph, which was a mechanical device that generated vibrational waves. The sound waves would move down into the surface of the Earth and reflect back up to the surface at different speeds depending on the type of rocks or oil picked up by a series of microphones. The time from when the signal was sent to when it was received was measured and used with Karcher's physics formula to calculate the depth of oil deposits. Dr. Karcher was not the first scientist to develop the technology, but he was the first to commercialize it in the United States while working at the U.S. Bureau of Standards. The technology was used by the United States during World War I to determine the location of German artillery and to detect incoming fire. And by 1930, during the Great Depression, Karcher partnered with McDermott, and together they found Geophysical Services Incorporated, or GSI for short, in the great state of Texas. Boys. During World War II, the company pivoted product development toward military-grade electronics products such as magnetic submarine detectors, radar, and sonar, which were developed for the Navy. And by 1951, Texas Instruments was formed. The company manufactured germanium transistors, which were later replaced by silicon transistors. In 1957, they became a preferred vendor with IBM for transistors to be used in IBM computers, and in 1958, Jack Kilby invented the microchip. The first handheld calculator was invented by Texas Instruments in the 1960s called the Caltech, weighing in at a heavy three pounds. Lightweight champion! Davis! On a track, track! 
It could do math up to six digits. Next came XAEAO. Oh, I meant the TI 2500 or data math in 1972. Then came the little professor, and I'm seriously not joking on that one. Jumping way ahead on the timeline, the TI 83 Plus was invented in 1999, but the fan favorite, the TI 84 Plus, was invented in 2004, including upgrades such as the USB port and internal clock for checking what time class was over. <laughs> What a story, Mark. Yeah, you can say that again. So why is the TI-84 the fan favorite of graphing calculators? Why is the entire math class full of them? How often do you actually see a student with a Casio? You're just staring at Is that me. a question? Yeah. We were warned that he can be awkward. The main reason the TI-84 has become so successful is because it is a trustworthy product teachers know. They have simple hardware with simple software that is standard across the classroom. Teachers know that even though TI-84s are an outdated technology, an elegant weapon for the more civilized age. They know that students won't be able to access the internet and cheat while taking exams. One Redditor said students could learn more complex skills with graphing calculators, and because the syllabus standardizes what calculators are allowed, the teacher could more easily teach using a known user interface rather than a dozen. The ingenious way that Texas Instruments got into the door with school systems is that they lobbied with local and state governments, arguing that students could learn more complex mathematics with a graphing calculator versus graphing paper. I do the numbers. Oh, good for you. With the rise in popularity of standardized testing, schools along the east coast of the United States started requiring graphing calculators in math classes. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. Texas Instruments partnered with textbook publishers showing the TI-84 next to homework problems. I'm too smart to read. I need to sit there and go, smart people read. No. And Texas Instruments would even sell yellow-colored TI-84s marked school property to the school systems so every student could have access to a graphing calculator. But nowadays, TI-84s come in all colors from radical red to true blue. Texas Instruments wasn't only clever in naming the colors with names like Plum Pie and Golden Ratio, but they were ingenious in the product marketing. And since cell phones aren't allowed in most classes at most schools, I remember as a student just playing around with the graphs was fun. To further build its relationship with educators, Texas Instruments provides teachers with free training and a support phone number 1-800-TI-CARES, which is a standout level of customer service in the industry. I could only find manuals, guides, and how-to videos on Casio's website. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. So given the strong relationship Texas Instruments has built with school systems around the country, they hold about 90% of the market share in the handheld graphing calculator industry. Dylan! You son of a... Some would argue it is deserved given the simplicity of the design and ease of use for learning math, but others would argue it is not deserved given the high costs for outdated electrical components and a lack of innovation over the years. In Texas Instruments financial reports to investors, calculator sales are lumped into the other category, where the other category is on the decline, dropping from $2.2 billion in 2014 to $1.4 billion in 2018. There is market speculation that the TI-84 graphing calculators will be replaced by smartphone calculator apps that restrict internet access while taking exams. And in 2014, the Silicon Valley startup Desmos Incorporated developed a free online graphing calculator to compete with Texas Instruments. But as of 2022, the company only has around 79 or so employees compared to Texas Instruments 33,000. Also, based on Desmos Incorporated's Series A round of funding, venture capitalists valuated the company at a total value of $8 million at the time of investment versus Texas Instruments' 150,000 millions, which is equivalent to 150 billion. If Texas Instruments does not innovate in the area of graphing calculators like the TI-84CE, the technology will eventually become obsolete for solving mathematical problems such as trigonometric functions. You gotta respect that. What can I just say? Does whatever you... I know trigonometry, algebra, trigonometry, geography, and everything to end with tree. Uh, you don't know the thing. Who is this? 
If artificial intelligence were to reach the event horizon of understanding, or in other words, a singularity in which its ability to learn and grow cannot be stopped, it is hypothesized that AI could further develop mathematics, reaching levels of complexity that would be beyond the comprehension of most humans in areas such as Jacobian matrices. Ironic. No matter what the future holds for graphing calculators, the TI-84 will always have a special place in my heart. When we were students, the TI-84 helped us set a mathematical foundation for our lives. A foundation where we learned basics such as how to graph functions, how to fit trend lines to data, and going into adulthood, these basic skills have helped many of us to understand the mathematics of the real world. For example, helping some of us investors to recognize trends and predict the future value of a stock, or helping some of us engineers find the root cause or outlier to a problem in a massive amount of data. Not only was the TI-84 the graphing calculator I used from the ninth grade to when I graduated college, but it was a tool that helped me to grow into a somewhat successful engineer, a tool that taught me how to solve more complex problems, and a tool that helped me to enjoy math, even if the tool itself was a little overpriced.